fuck am I doing here? We have to get down. I want to ask you is, do you confirm that the first and the second should be the only day that the sun could appear? Because if we will not start, for sure we have to stay one week here waiting. So we will do this, this attempt. Yes, thank you, thank you, Carl. Bye bye. So we have to go. I love the mountains. I grew up in them, climbing with Dad. He taught me everything. He even put away his Himalayan dreams to start a family. He gave this to me. And then, I was such a fuck up. Until climbing set me straight. I love this. But I'm scared. So many things here are trying to kill me. I think of the lessons I learned from my dad, how he always tells me, go gently. These guys, do they feel the same gnawing yeah. fear? The same doubt? Dennis Tech now is a very old man. Yes. <laughs> he has problems. He fell down in crevice. Chuck! About 40 meters. Yeah. Exactly. Very deep, very deep crevice. Dennis Ka! No! I was shaking a little bit because when I fell down and next turn, it was a small fixation in the bottom. My eyes <laughs> disappear. Jesus Christ, who are these guys? <laughs> there was immediately Cody. Doom! Up there and there. <laughs> I felt it was very, very helpful for me. You feel extra power in this moment. <laughs> Beautiful, spectacular, free, but it's just so cold. My friends, family, I just got engaged before this trip. They know this is me, support me, but now, so alone, we are very, very alone. Up past the bodies in Camp 4. Nobody belongs here. As if I needed reminding. We didn't recover completely. It was only three days in base camp. We spent four days on the mountain and three days all in Biscuit. So this is the things that make me worry that maybe we don't have power enough. Tonight the dinner will be Barbariska. The goulash. Goulash. Ciao, Barbara. Thank you very much for goulash. Ah. It's foggy in the audience. We 
just starting and I'm wasted. Simone hacks, coughs, spits up blood every morning, and then his laughter and joking, so genuine. He truly loves his suffering. Dennis, I think suffering is a part of his Soviet DNA. And me, I don't know. Just a few days ago, feeling so fresh, so strong. But now, I can't stop thinking about home. The little things. Liv's kiss. Mom and dad. Holding a cup of coffee in my hands. Just before dawn, I want to turn around, but I don't say anything. The sun's not up yet, and I'm tired. Freezing, freezing cold. And the first rays hit me, grace me. Not yet with warmth, but with light. And I know now that I'm alive again, and a part of this world. It's not a celebration, really. There is no release here. We're only halfway. We still have to get down. Let's get the fuck out of here! This is where everyone dies. The storm hits so fast. I can't see. None of us can see. What's going on? I'm listening to music, you too. You too. Yeah. But of course it's fucking cold. How cold? Minus 46 centigrade. <coughs> In the morning, Simone pukes and we all piss so dark it looks like blood. We barely speak barely look each other in the eye. Just a string of robotic motions. We hear it before we see it. A horrible roar. I know that my life is over. Ever since I started climbing mountains, I wondered what this would feel like. Clawing towards the surface. And then I hear a voice. Just tell me what happened. Somehow, we all got lucky. We're on the home stretch now. No more fear. 
Somehow in all of this, I know there's incomprehensible beauty. In this moment, I feel strength. Maybe I am strong enough. But I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs>